assign button is created completely on top of Salesforce. All the information is stored into Salesforce objects, which means that you can just use options like sharing rules and permissions to uh, split information from, uh, yeah, from employees in your uh, company. So let's take an example. Uh, we have uh, an HR department which uses Salesforce and wants to send out um, HR contracts. And we have a sales department where, of course, they want to send out sales contracts. In the HR department says, well, I want to share all of my sign requests with all of my colleagues, my entire team, because when I'm on holiday or I'm not available, then somebody else from the team can pick it up. Well, the sales department says, well, I want to uh, have the uh, the private setting on the sharing rules so that nobody else can see my sign requests because only I want to close it so I get my commission. So two separate uh, requirements and how can we just uh, do this with Salesforce and Sign Butler? Let's take a look. First of all, I will show you the setup that I've done to accomplish this uh, requirement. So in our setup, we have uh, indicated to the sign request that it's private. So these are the sharing settings in Salesforce. And when we indicate on the sign request that it's private, it means that only the owner of the sign request can see that sign request. The owner is the person that has created it. So it means that nobody else that doesn't have access to uh, to view this via a sharing rule can actually see this data, this information. Of course, if you want to uh, go a step further and you say, okay, also my sign request templates are uh, have to be uh, shared and uh, cannot be shared and is, are de dependent on the certain uh, department, you can do that as well. But here we just limit the example to the sign request. So setting it to private already means that we meet the requirements of uh, our sales guru. Because setting it to private will not share any of the sign requests with anybody else in, uh, in Salesforce. So his requirement is already met just by setting our sign request to private in the sharing rules. Now, let's take a look what we can do for our HR manager who says, I want to share it with my entire team. We're going to create a public group for the, uh, um, for the, for the HR team. Yeah? And we're going to add the, all the people, all the users of that team in this public group. Okay, now we have a public group for the entire HR team. And we can now say to Salesforce, well, everything Every sign request that's created by somebody in this group can be seen by anybody that's also in this group. So that's another sharing setting, a specific one. And for that, we go to the uh, sign request and we actually create the sharing rule as you can see here. So on top of the uh, uh, sharing rule, the, uh, the setting that, we, that all the rules are private, this will override it and will say that everybody that's a member, so every sign request that is owned by a member of the group HR team will also be seen uh, can be seen by everybody that's a part of this HR team. And when new people come into the HR team, it's very easy. You can just go to the public group and add these new persons right here. And that's all just uh, Salesforce admin stuff that needs to be done. So all out of the box Salesforce uh, functionality and settings that we have created. Now let's take a look how it actually works. So I have logged in with, first of all, uh, our uh, friend here, uh, the sales guru, as you can see. So here I'm logged in with the sales guru in uh, Salesforce. And in another uh, session, I have logged in with the HR manager. So these two uh, people will work in uh, Salesforce. Uh, in the sign request, you can see that uh, the HR manager and the sales guru, they have a different list of, uh, of signs requests. So if I select all here and all here, that means that, well, these are all the sign requests that they can see. And you can see they are not, uh, yeah, they are totally different, which is normal because we indicated that uh, the sign requests from our uh, friend's sales guru cannot be seen by anybody else. So if the sales guru would say, well, I'm going to send out a new quote, 
uh, that will create a new sign request. And that sign request, of course, cannot be seen by, um, by our HR manager. So I'm going to send out this uh, quote via sign butler. And then we're going to see that this quote is actually added to the uh, uh, list of sign requests of uh, uh, our sales guru. As you can see right here, it uh, was just added. But when I refresh the list of uh, our HR manager, it's not visible because the sharing rules say they cannot be shared. She has no access to the data of, uh, of the sales guru. Now, um, the uh, HR manager, she doesn't use uh, PDF butter to generate the quotes. She will just say, well, I'm going to um, uh, upload contracts directly from uh, directly uh, PDF contracts that, uh, directly from uh, uh, my computer. So she has created a contract for somebody in the company. And now I continue <clears throat> the process for her. So I say that um, I want to sign uh, placement here and I'm going to add some labels here. Uh, so that's all possible with uh, with sign butler of course so uh, 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 so she's employing Igor Staver for instance uh, let's uh, and then she can say I want to send it out now this will create a new sign request uh, uh, contract Igor Staver for instance and here I'm gonna send it to Igor Staver so that's uh, creating a new sign request. Okay, everything is set up. Now I'm going to send it out. Okay, the sign request was created. So let's take a look. Indeed, there is a new sign request sent to Igor. Yeah, Igor has to sign it. And if I take a look at her list of sign requests, this sign request is uh, now there. So uh, that's uh, the new contract. And when I take a look at the sign request of our sales guru and I refresh that list, it's not there. So we have now set up sharing rules in Salesforce so that different teams can actually uh, have uh, requirements on sharing data information that's part of Salesforce. And uh, yeah, you can make this a, as complex as you want. Yeah? If it's possible in the sharing rules of Salesforce, you can use it with SignButler.